welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Look what I've got here. That's a beautiful looking Garrett GTX 3582R turbo. But it shouldn't do that. Yeah, that, that's not right. So anyway, that's why I'm going to be pulling this thing apart. Yeah, she's a bit clogged down there. It's had some decent work done here on the old exhaust flange. Just came off a Ford Barra, apparently. And I actually like what's been done to all this. Let's get this thing pulled apart and find out what's going on inside and how much of it needs to be replaced. This will probably just be a teardown video. I'll need to order parts and things for fixing it up, I'd say. Well, let's go. Let's start by taking this bit off. I got these. These come in very handy for pulling turbos apart. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> there's that, Oops. <laughs> that part off, that still looks reasonable, a little bit of scoring on there, should still be good, <laughs> so bad, anyway, we'll, we'll sort this thing out, oh it's already coming apart, sweet, they're not tight, oh that one is, these are just half inch or 13 mil seems to work. It's stuck on there pretty good. Hmm, it probably got really hot. Anyway, I'll get it off. Just like that. I'd probably normally be a little bit more gentle, but since this thing's pretty busted, I'm not that worried about it really. Anyway, let's get this off. Okay, that's in a little mil. Act like you're tightening it. That comes off nice and easy. I'm just, I'm holding the compressor wheel and spinning it to try and get that to come off. This is busted. I'm half expecting some ball bearings to fall out of here soon. There we go. That wheel is Busted. <laughs> we'll set that there for now. Oh, oh that pops off straight up. Yep, oh, the ball bearings are already gone, it looks like. Now just get these off. We'll see what's inside of here. I've got a T10 here, and I'm just gonna hammer it in. Make sure it's right and in there. It should, shouldn't be too tight. Yeah, there we go. It's just getting a good enough seal on that top part. That wasn't too hard. It's good. Now this should pop out. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, that's heavily damaged. I'm gonna need a new one of them. Got a new one of these right here. So it, this should look like that. Not like that. And there's a little pin in there that can be a bit tricky to get out. But I'll get it out. I thread this in there, so there should be thread in there, I hope. I'll start by putting the vice grips on it and trying to pull on it. Right, I'll give it a whack with the mallet, see if that works. There we go. That's how you get that pin out. Pretty, it's pretty easy, really. I don't know. Just need a little screw to put in there. So now we should get the bearing housing out. Normally this would have come out on here, but this one's busted. You'd normally press that out. Oh, I see what's happened. That's the bearing cage and it's, it's split. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> I've stuck the screwdriver down in there to get this out. I don't want to scratch too much. It's starting to move, which is good. See, you can see it's starting to come out. That's in there pretty tight because this part of it has already broken off. That's where the ball bearings go. So it's ground its way through. This is not, not ideal. Look in there. Oh, there we go. That got most of it out. There we go. It's out. Yeah, you can see this end broke off there. It should look like that. 
but oh it was this way so this was the way that this one the back end was broken off well i think i need to clean this up a bit i'll start by trying to scrape most of that off i reckon that's starting to look pretty clean now yeah that's looking clean now i do just have to get that there's a little seal in there that's stuck on there pretty good because this obviously got pretty hot boom that's that one out I'd say it used to say Garrett up in the corner there. You can't see that anymore, but whatever. Yeah, there she is. Nice and clean. Something's in there written. That's cool. I just got to rebuild this thing. Separated this piece. I didn't realize this is stainless steel. Normally this bit's alloy. So this is kind of heavy. <laughs> but anyway, that's all come up clean. Cleaned up that area a little bit so that'll mount better. That still looks good. And go ahead and get that little ring out. It's busted anyway, so it probably doesn't matter if we break it at this point, because these break pretty easily. <laughs> there we go. That's that off, but this thing's buggered anyway. That's no good. It's wrecked, if you know what buggered means. <laughs> I actually designed these vice grips to be like a bearing separator. Should be able to put that in there, maybe in there, and tighten them up. I might have to pop the nut back on. <laughs> this is a bit dodgy. But if you want to reuse it, it's dodgy. But anyway, I'll pop the nut back on and I might actually hit it with the hammer. And that worked. Oh, that worked perfectly. That nut comes off easy, still finger tight, so it didn't bend anything too much. And that bit is off. That bit normally would have come out in the front here. It would have looked like something like that. It's supposed to look like one of that. <laughs> basically. So let's go ahead and get this other half off. I, I want to grab it by that little groove there, not, not here where the ball bearings rest, even though these might be rubbish. There she is. Off. I just dremeled these out or, or, you know, ground it out and made these vice grips in to be able to do that, not damage it. Yeah, these are the two bits that would have been in here before, like this or you know that's what they should look like <laughs> hmm. anyway for now i guess that's all that pulled apart yeah that obviously needs replacing uh, that'll need replacing this the bearing cage needs replacing new ball bearings there wasn't even any ball bearings in it this is definitely going to need replacing <laughs> that's looking good now that'll work Everything, the drain looks fine. Everything looks fine. And like this looks mint. That thing is cool. This is, yeah, it's a cool idea. What I will do with it, I'm still not sure. I did just put like that on my turbo, if you watched that video. <laughs> the oil was too cold or something apparently. Yeah, it was starved of oil or something kind of. That was pretty fun to tear it down. And one of the hardest parts to tear it like this is you need these to get that big circlip off. You can do it without them, but you know, it's just easy. They weren't very expensive. But... Thanks very much for watching. Oh yeah, and I made these. Well, I think I'll end that up there. If you like this sort of thing, let me know and I'll see if I can make more or whatever. And yeah, leave a comment if you want. And throw us a like and feel free to subscribe or share this around if you want and stay tuned for more videos there'll be plenty more coming up thanks for watching see you later